Praise the Lord. I'm just so glad you're here with me. If you want to know the enemy's plan for our economy, you want to stick around. The Lord has given me insight through a dream from the Lord about how the enemy seeks to infiltrate our finance industry and turn our economy upside down through ideas and ideologies that seem innocent but actually are not good for us. So let me share this dream from the Lord and share this with you, if, uh, with others. If you want to like this or subscribe, whatever, we want to make sure that this gets to as many people as possible. I believe this is truly a prophetic warning from God. Stick around. I'm not going to be with you long. I believe I can release this word and pray into this within a 10 minute time frame. So I know uh, you probably aren't short of time and, and that's OK because I'm going to get through this. So I want to share with you what the Lord showed me in a dream. In this dream, I was watching and I saw hot air balloons. They weren't really hot air balloons, but that's the best I can describe them. They, they were very much uh, the same in terms of functionality. They were descending from the sky very slowly and all of them were filled with people. Several people, eight, nine, ten people were in each one of these hot air balloon looking vessels and they were descending at night. That's very critical. They were doing this in the cover of darkness. But these balloons were colorful. And I began to call out the colors of these balloons. And they were green. They were blue. They were red. They looked almost like the color of cotton candy, almost like a pastel red, a pastel green, a pastel blue. And so it's very fanciful, delightful. It looks innocent. It looks fun. But. As I was watching, these vessels shifted and changed as the people began to unload. There were dozens of these hot air balloons. As the people inside these hot air balloons began to unload, they instantly changed their their appearance. They became black and red. They reminded me of ladybugs, which now as I'm sharing this with you, the Lord has given me insight. If you're ever from, if you've ever seen a swarm of ladybugs and this happens in hot weather uh, states, I've seen this myself. They will infiltrate your house. They're so small. They can come in between the cracks and the crevices of your windows. Even if your windows are pretty airtight, they're so small. These ladybugs get in. But red and black together, that is not a good combination. That is evil. That is the devil. And these were demonic beings and they became they changed their appearance. So at first they looked human. And I, I think that's what the Lord really wants us to see is these things are going to look innocent. They're going to come through human form and it's going to seem like normal human ideas, but they're actually shrouded or they are shrouded ideologies and shrouded strategies that have been planted by the evil one into people who do not know the enemy's voice. They think that it's intellect. They think that it's uh, that it's a great idea. And the Lord has not uh, given me insight into what kind of ideas these are. But these ideas are going to infiltrate the finance industry. How do I know this? Because these these people, as they changed their image, they were looking like all different kinds of, of beings and shapes, but they all looked red and black and they looked like they reminded me of a swarm of ladybugs and they began to disperse. And by the spirit, I knew this was happening all over the country, in cities all over the country. And so um, I realized by the spirit, they were flooding the streets and as they changed form, they flooded the cities and they were on a mission to infiltrate society. So these ideas are going to be common. And remember the words of Jesus. He said, beware the yeast of the Pharisees and of Herod. What is God saying? Yeast is something that you put into dough and it spreads and it causes the dough to change. There's a chemical reaction taking place. The moisture and the yeast combine to create chemical reaction that do what? Put air into the dough and cause it to ride. rise. rather. Hot air balloons what are they? They are powered by heat touching the air and creating a lift. Well, these hot air balloons were carried, carrying people and beings that were bringing an infiltration of ideology into our cities. They were flooding and influencing our economy. I knew this. I just knew this by the spirit in the dream that they were going to make things more expensive. I heard this in the dream. They were going to make things more expensive. So there are going to be ideologies and they're already here in the finance industry that are going to seem so normal. They're going to come from trusted voices, but they're going to be actual ideas that have been coming from the evil one. And they want to create 
higher interest rates. They want to create economic strain and upheaval in families' lives. This is a demonic strategy. There are ideas that on the surface, they look good, they sound fine. The senses are being infiltrated. Uh, these ideas are rather being infiltrated into the finance industry and the, in the, in the economy. But in the end, while they might look innocent, they're going to create economic disaster. A bubble is going to burst. I heard this in the spirit. A bubble is going to burst. There is a plan from the enemy to burst the bubble, to fill the economy with ideas and strategies that are nothing but hot air. When someone's bloviating, they sound smart. They sound like they know what they're talking about, but it's hot air, meaning it's empty. It doesn't have any weight. The glory of God is what has weight. When the presence of God, when the spirit of God is involved, things are, have weight. But when the enemy shows up, there's no weight to it. Underneath these ideas is a sinister spiritual plot to overturn, overtake our economy. On the surface, these ideas are going to be viable. They're going to look fresh. They're going to sound new and innocent that are good for our families. But we need to watch and pray. I believe that we can pray that this will not happen. I believe we can pray to at least lessen the effect of it. I heard in the spirit there is a way that seems right to man. And I heard destruction. The enemy seeks to destroy our economic vitality by giving us ideas that people are going to say, oh, that sounds good. Let's do that. That makes sense. That makes sense. Proverbs 16, 18, however, says pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. When people are not submitted to the Holy Spirit, I don't care how smart they are. They are being set up for a fall. If they are only operating in man's wisdom. God's going to put them in a position where they have an opportunity to bow to him and submit to him and seek him. And when they won't, God's going to bring a fall. We need to be praying. We need to be praying. Proverbs 14, 12 says there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. And what I love about this is this scripture is said twice in two different places. It's also Proverbs 16, 25. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. The same words in two different places in scripture. And I want you to hear the voice of God that when he speaks twice, there's power. God is saying, I have established this in the earth, that there is, de there is death where man is going with his own way. We need to pray. Um, this is for the watchman. This is for the intercessor. I need you to pray that we will not see rampant inflation, that we will not see higher interest rates, that we will not see ideas and ideologies, ideologies rather, enter into our Federal Reserve System and our banking system and our finance industry that are actually bad for families and will only make the richer, the rich people richer. We need people to be praying. And I'm seeking the Lord to show me what are these strategies, what are these ideas? Matthew 7, 13 says, enter at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. It's going to look normal. This is why we cannot be those who have eyes that are not in the spirit because the light of the eye, the light of the body is the eye. If your eye is full of darkness, your whole body is full of darkness. If you're not seeing by the spirit, you are actually overtaken by darkness. And this is where most of the people who are in the finance industry are. Let's just say it. They are not filled with light. And so they're going to take part and parcel demonic strategies because they want to profit. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? For what will a man give his for what will a man give his soul? People have sold their souls out for money to serve the God of mammon, which is a, a spirit. The God of mammon. So we need to pray. This is a prayer alert. If you have any spiritual discernment, you understand God is speaking to you right now to pray for our finance industry, our leaders, the people, people that are on Wall Street, people that are in the, in the C-suite of these Fortune 500 companies and beyond. Are they going to be those who hear the goodness of God? Are they going to be those who listen to the counsel of the Spirit of God? Not to say they're Christians, but they listen to even their advisors who are hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Are they going to listen to the spirit of prophecy? Even those who are unbelievers can hear the voice of God and know that it's better than what they heard. This is how we need to pray. We need to pray that their ears and their eyes will be open to the word and to the counsel of the Spirit of God. This is my encouragement to you. I want to edify you to pray into this. I want to actually charge you and command you by the Spirit of God to pray for the finance industry, pray for the economy, pray that, info, that the infiltration of these ideologies will not transpire because it's going to make rich people feel 
safe. All of this is good. And the rich people rule the finance industry. So what looks good to them is what actually gets done. Please pray with me. Will you pray with me? I hope you will. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I impart now the power to pray. I impart now the desire to pray. I impart now second, third, and fourth watch anointing. I pray in the name of Jesus that our ears are open to your voice. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will pray with you one hour. Come on. I pray in the name of the Lord that we will be those who are counted among your closest disciples and that we will pray for our nation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. God, you say those who watch without the Lord watch in vain. If the Lord's not watching over the city, the watchmen watch in vain. God, we are calling for the watch of the Lord. Oh, over our cities, God. Even if the enemy comes in like a flood, we ask now that you raise up a standard again Against him in the name of the Lord. I know this is the word of God, and I pray that it gets deep into our spirit and that when we start seeing or hearing of these ideologies, we'll know what they are and we'll pray that they will not transpire, that they will not catch root, that they will not catch fire, but rather the spirit and the counsel of God will come through. This is my prayer, God, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I told you I'd try to make it short. I pray that this gets into your spirit. I pray that you pray with me. I don't have timing on this, but I do believe the Lord is giving me this as we enter into 2024 so that we can be aware, especially during the political season, when a lot of ideologies and platforms are being revealed by presidential candidates about what they will do when they get elected. We need to be listening to what they're saying. We need to be listening by the spirit. Does it have weight or is it hot air? Come on. God baked into this dream a discernment tool. Is it the spirit? Does it have weight or is it hot air? The hot air balloon is going to bring an infiltration of the demise. It's going to carry with it the demonic spirit. I pray, I pray that you will pray into this dream. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You can check us out at faithfireworldwide.com to get more of our words from the Lord. You can support us there as well. We are a donor supported ministry. Uh, I hopefully will be in Guatemala in January on an international crusade and revival tour there for five days. Also, we're working on crusades and community uh, outreach events here in the city. And I just praise God for your partnership. I thank God for your listening ear. And I pray that you will hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. Until we see each other again right here on this podcast or video platform, may the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.